Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the Tinker Day, frustrations and challenges. Got this P2 beautiful wagon here. We're doing a driver's side CV axle. Getting ready to put the bolt in the center. And the bolt's not grabbing nothing. There's something spongy in there. We look deep down in the hole. There's some kind of rubber stuff down in there. Tried to get it out with that. Couldn't get it out. Tried to get out with that screw. Couldn't get it out. We're going to get a long sharp sheetrock screw and try to screw down in there to get that out of the CV axle man this is crazy brand new part in the box compliments of DKN some kind of plug in the screw hole isn't that crazy almost well, I'm delighted. almost thought we were done thought the hole was drilled out that's what I thought. <laughs> I know that's what you thought. <laughs> all right. Saved by the bell. We are all done here in Michigan. About to head back to Cincinnati. Five hours to get to Cincinnati. 7.30. Maybe I'll make it to a salvage yard or two on my way back. And uh, looking forward to the little trip. Got a nice, cleaner windshield. Now this windshield is supposed to have 271,000 miles on it, but man, it is clean. It's seen very little highway, I would imagine, and probably all paved roads, because it's just got barely a couple of minor chips in it here and there. A lot cleaner than the windshield I had. Of course, half the mileage, so. Let's head back to Cincinnati, folks. Whoop, whoop. Kicking off the tinker day. Going to take the battery out of here, get it charged up, then put a hood cable on this thing. Man, this thing needs a few body panels. Needs a fender, front bumper, corner light over here maybe. Yeah, this thing needs a little love. You can see the ground right down through there. I guess this thing used to have fender skirts. I don't even see a cable coming through here for the hood. It's supposed to go through those clips there. That thing's been pulled out long ago. Jeez Louise, yep, there's a hole for it. We'll just feed that thing right through there. Let me remove this battery, put this thing back on the charger. It wasn't charged up enough to start the vehicle. Taking the battery out to put on the charger, took the bolt loose, started wiggling the cable to get it off, and I see that cable wiggling there. This got to be tight, or you can cause all kind of charging issues and possibly drainage, a little bit of shorting it out, so... We need to tighten that up. Either it gets tightened up in there, we gotta find a nut for that. Gotta have that tight. Put this thing on the charger. Well, this is kind of surprising. Somebody's already pulled the cable all the way through off the hood release. So let's get these screws removed so we can get this other hood release in place. Find where that goes up through the firewall and push that cable through there so we can get this hooked up. Right above the clutch master cylinder, you see a little daylight. That's where that cable goes through, so that should be an easy shot. Let me grab the end of the cable right there, push it through that hole, take all the slack out of it, take these two Phillips out, put the replacement release. Feels like it's going to take a little effort to go through there, so I'm going to put some grease on it. Hopefully that'll help it slide through. I could not push the replacement cable through the hole, even with trying with some short needle nose pliers. So I pushed the old cable through the other way, taped it up as best I could. Now I'm going to try to pull it through, and hopefully that'll work. It's got some lubrication up there, and pull it through, get this thing installed. Here's the old cable pulled through this way. So let me go ahead and pull this through. Hopefully that tape will hold it and get it through this hole. 
Do 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 do. Ah, there you go. Got some stress on it. Come on, three. Ah, I think he got through enough to grab it. That's what matters most. Before the tape came on. There we are, folks. We are through. Now we're going to route that cable through that holder there. Through that holder there. Then it goes under and through this way somehow. And comes out this way. And hooks up to that. I got the cable pulled through. Routed through the guides. Coming under here. I could try to fight this. To get this in here. But really, I need to take these two bolts out. So I can have this in my hand. And get this cable installed. Somebody's been in here trying to fix this. I see a zip tie here. So I'm going to cut that zip tie out. I'm going to put this cable through the cable catch right there. Hook the sleeve of the cable right there where it belongs. Spray this down with some lubrication. I got some lithium white grease. And close the hood. See if it works. Everything's together. Got it sprayed down with lithium grease. Let's go ahead and close the hood. See how this thing works. And then we'll be done. Do 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 do. Huh? All right. Let's see. I assume this thing is open. Hood is nice and closed. Let's go pull the handle. See how it goes. You might want to lose that latch once a year. Man, it sounds like it worked. And yes, it did. The hood is popped. I reached my hand in there. I moved the part over that I'm supposed to to get it the rest of the way open. We are good to go. Now I need to go check, see if that battery's charged, and go from there. Had this thing hooked up for 30 minutes. It's showing it's fully charged. I'm going to go put it back on the vehicle. Hopefully we won't have no starting issues. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.